So finally, after a decade of hockey in Vancouver, we can now tell the Sedins apart from the front. It's Henrik with the C on his jersey, Daniel with the A. Henrik, thanks for joining us. Teams have had co-captains in the past. Why couldn't you and your brother do this? I don't know. You got to ask the management, but I, I think Dan is used to it. He's been the uh, it's been the assistant captain to me all, all through our lives and our careers. So it's, oh, so he's uh, actually been your assistant captain he, to you, right? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, exactly, in life. I mean, outside hockey, too. So that's, uh, that hasn't changed. Didn't he get drafted ahead of you? He did. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, D comes before H maybe in the, in the alphabet. That's, that's, that might be why. So people say that you are a soft-spoken guy. Is, is that reasonable? And do you have another side to you? Do you have a temper? Have you lost your temper? Can you lose your temper? Yeah, I can lose my temper sometimes. Uh, it doesn't happen too often, but it, it, it happens. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if we're soft-spoken. I mean, we're, uh, we, we're a close uh, group here on this team, and we, we like to have fun. So uh, we might not be the most quiet guys, but we, we used to be more quiet before. Okay, so your captaincy is now two games old. Is there anything different in your life now that you're the captain of the Vancouver Canucks? No, nothing. I think it's, uh, it's, it's the same as, as before. I mean, we're, uh, the last couple of years we've been uh, looked as, uh, as to produce, and we're, uh, we're still trying to do that. And uh, media is the same kind of things you have to deal with. It's uh, after every practice and after every game. So it, it, it hasn't changed much. So then explain to us what's the job of a captain of an NHL team? I don't know. It's, uh, I think it, it, it might have changed the last couple of years or the last 15 years. I think it's uh, captains from before. You hear a lot of stories about uh, speeches and stuff like that. I, I don't think it's that way anymore. And uh, You need to have more, more guys than, than one to, to be a part of the leadership group. Henrik, is it true that really over the last year, since the goaltender, Roberto Luongo, was the captain, you've had to assume many of the roles that he would because goalies don't talk to referees. And, you know, let's face it, it's, it's not normal for a goaltender to be captain. Yeah, I think it was the same before. Like you said, uh, he didn't talk to referees. Uh, uh, we were three assistants that did that job. And, and uh, um, he was a great captain for us. Uh, it was one of those things that he couldn't do, and uh, it was up to us to do it. So uh, that hasn't changed much either. What did Trevor Linden teach you? Because I know there was a time in your career when you were really down and out, you and your brother. Uh, what did he say to you that, that put your focus back on, uh, on, on winning and put you back on track? Uh, I think it was just a more an ongoing discussion uh, throughout his first couple of years here. I mean, he, uh, he came in and we, uh, we had a tough couple of, couple of years uh, where we, I think we, we tried to change the way we, we played. and, and uh, uh, he has told us to, to play our game, and we, uh, I think we realized that if, if we were going to fail over here, we, we'd rather do it our way than, than, than trying to change the way we played. So uh, that, was, uh, that was the main thing that he said. Would you be okay if I said you are Captain Humble? Uh, because when people look at you and when you accept the Hart Trophy and really everything about you, there's this sense of humility. Uh, so I, I'm now officially calling you Captain Humble. You okay with that? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. So would you like to see the rest of your team share your sense of humility? Because you've got some guys who, who would say and do things that really aren't like you. I think you need, you need different personalities. I mean, you can't be, you have 23 guys, they're all the same. And uh, they're all great guys. I mean, they, uh, uh, we're a close group, so that, 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 that hasn't changed. But uh, you have to treat everyone like you, you want to be treated yourself. And, and, uh, uh, you can't be friends with everyone, but you got to respect everyone. So that's, uh, we can't all be the same. Also, one of the things that, that, that it would be great if everyone shared was your respect for the community. You've done so much for the community. You have your re rate a reaser, a raise a reader campaign. Maybe I should take the reading campaign so I could read the question a little bit better. But you've also uh, contributed a huge amount of money to building a new children's hospital. Is that something that you would like the entire team to take their lead from you? I don't know the entire team. I think it's uh, it's more the the community uh, here in Vancouver and in BC. I think it's uh, uh, we have been to the hospital many times and seen uh, families and, and kids what they're going through. And, and uh, for us, it was an easy choice. We just uh, we got the opportunity to do it, and we we uh, we did it. So uh, they asked us to to come forward with it, and we did. And I think it's uh, it's helped the hospital, which is which is good. Well, if you're looking for a guy who is, as I say, humble, team-oriented, community-oriented, uh, you're the guy. Uh, stay right there. Return uh, for next question a little bit later on, okay? Thank you. And we'll try to get you mad.
try. Ikea is probably the best store in the world. I'll give you a totally different answer this time. It's always a, a great honor to, to be mentioned, to be, to be the captain. Ladies and gentlemen, the 13th captain of your Vancouver Canucks, Henrik Sedin. Time now for next question with the Canucks captain, Henrik Sedin. I challenged myself before to try to get you mad. I'm going to do my best. You up for the challenge? I am, yes. Your brother sucks as a hockey player. Are you mad? No, I'm not. <laughs> that was my best shot. Who's the best Swedish hockey player of all time if the candidates were Matt Sundin, Peter Forsberg, or Nick Lidstrom? Uh, tough one. I, I, I play with Matt, so I gotta say Matt Sundin. How come Nick Lidstrom doesn't have an accent anymore? It's been a lot of, uh, a lot of years, so I, I guess that's why. Where do you keep your 2006 Olympic gold medal? In Sweden, in a drawer. Uh, I don't really even know where it is, but it's, uh, I'm more of a, the memories. I mean, the, the medal is there and it's nice to look at, but uh, just to think back at, at uh, what you went through with the team, that's, uh, I think, what's most important. That's well put. Who talks more trash on the ice, Alex Burrows or Kevin Bieksa? Alex Burrows. Roberto Luongo claims that he is the best poker player on the Vancouver Canucks. Henrik, is that true? Not a chance. Is uh, he the worst poker player? It's not the worst. I mean, there's a few guys behind him. Uh, I would say one or two guys behind him. But uh, well, well, who's behind him? Uh, Alex Burrows and uh, who else? Well, that's it, I think. Burr, Burr might be worse. On a scale of one to ten, how happy are you that Dustin Bufflin was traded to the Eastern Conference? Uh, I don't know. I think it's uh, they made a bigger deal out of that than, than it is. Uh, he's a good player, but it's uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm happy to, to see him at, La in, at Atlanta. Do you ever see general manager Mike Gillis smile? I've seen him smile a couple of times in the past two years. <laughs> you began your career with Moto in Sweden. Nobody knows what Moto is. Is it a place? What is it? Moto is a big paper mill in our hometown that smells really bad. Uh, but it's, uh, they've been big sponsors of the team and that's, that's why, they, why it's called Moto. Honestly, is there anyone on the Canucks who can't tell you and Daniel apart? Elaine. Really? I think so. He, he might he might got it down this year, but uh, he's, he's had some tr his troubles. When you guys arrive on the team, have you ever pulled a, a joke on them to confuse them? Never. I mean, it's uh, the first couple of years we had we had uh, Mark Crawford, so that's uh, he had a tough time. I mean, he came in and uh, we're pretty. <laughs> Pretty tough with us, but he, he had trouble telling us apart. Uh, Elaine is, uh, he usually calls us uh, brothers or uh, uh, something like that, so that's uh, easy for him. I'm dying to know in the Olympic gold medal game, who were you cheering for? Roberto Luongo and the Canadians, Ryan Kessler and the Americans? Uh, tough one. Uh, Canada, because it was played in, in Canada, it was a great ending with, with Crosby scoring the goal, so it was nice to see Canada win uh, in front of their home fans. Final question, uh, the Canucks opening ceremony, did you really know who any of those former players were on Saturday night? Yeah, I, I knew, I knew a couple of them for sure. Uh, it's, uh, it's tough when you're, when you're born 10 years after they, they play it, so it's, uh, but I, I met a couple of them and they're, they're all really nice people. Got to wrap it up, you got to bail me out of trouble here. I forgot to wish my niece happy birthday. She's a huge Canucks fan, she lives in Vancouver. Say happy birthday, Adina. Happy birthday, have a great day. You did it for me, thanks man. Thank you.